Hi, it's Bill coming back at you again with another video. Today we're just going to take a quick look at the tent since we did our harvest last week. Uh, change things around a little bit. Okay guys, so we took down the Cafe Racers and the Agent Orange last week. So let's see what the tent looks like now. Okay guys, so there she is now. Uh, we got uh, vegetables in this section here uh, for now, till the spring comes. Now this is my favorite part. I got to put up my new Mars Hydro SP6500. Uh, man, this thing is intense. Seriously, as soon as I plugged it in, and it was already on, the button was on, and wow, it damn near blinded me. The power is so high in the middle that I left it about two and a half feet above the plants, above the tallest plants, and uh, they seem to be doing fine. So uh, let's take a look and see what we got here. We have, these are all auto flowers. We have this one and this one here. These are the critical mass CBDs. My first time growing a CBD strain. Now, as you can see, totally different phenos here. Uh, we got this one, which is probably four weeks into flower now. Totally different structure than that. Totally different color, and even the leaves, like nice dark green leaves on this. Uh, now, it's not it's not a huge plant, but as we can see here, these are stacked up like super well and they go down quite a ways like six to eight inches so we're gonna have we're gonna have a fair number of those top top colas that are gonna be really fat six to eight inch colas so uh, and I'm telling you this thing for only being four weeks she is pumping the terpenes out it is crazy smelly in here and uh, yeah we're just really nuts now this one here Another critical mass CBD. Uh, I got these from ilovegrowingmarijuana.com, by the way. Link is in the description. Now, she's only about two and a half weeks into flower. Now, she got a lot bigger structure, a lot taller, a lot bushier, and she needs to be cleaned out. Now, I'm just waiting for another few days here. I want to make sure she's done her stretch. I think she is now, but I want to give her a few days, and then I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to clean her right out, give her a good haircut, uh, take a little off the bottom. She's pretty congested all the way through. So that's what we're going to do here in a few days. Uh, as well as this one here, which is a Girl Scout Cookies Extreme from, again, I love growing marijuana.com. And again, this is about two and a half weeks into flower. Uh, she needs a good cleaning out, and I will be doing that as well in a few days once I know the stretch is done. Now, this one doesn't need it as bad. Because as you can see, the the leaves are much thinner than on this one. So even though it's bushy and it's thick, there's still enough spots that the, the light can actually penetrate penetrate down through there fairly well. So I'm, I won't be taking off as much off of this one. And I may even post a video uh, Wednesday or Thursday of just training these guys. So look forward to that through the middle of the week possibly. Uh, this one here is another Girl Scouts Cookies Extreme. So we have the same strain, same breeders, and much different phenotype. The same as the, the Critical Mass CBD. Like two totally different plants. You wouldn't think they were the same, but they are. But just different phenotypes. Uh, this one is really short and congested. The node spacing was like extremely short. Now, I did do some training on this. I took a lot of little branches out and spread her down, LST her, and she's she's come a long way since then. So uh, she does need a little a little haircut here, and uh, as we can see, she's just starting to bunch her hairs up here. So so she'll be in flower by next week. But I really like the way she's come out and filled out, and once she's done her flower stretch, she's gonna be a nice little bush. Uh, over in this section, right now, we just have the Mars Hydro TSW-2000. Uh, that's because we only have three going on right now. These are Monster Crop clones. We have these two here, our Agent Oranges, and this one is Cafe Racer. 
And uh, I also have another cafe racer in the smaller tent that is on its 12-12 period, flowering period. And she's doing really well. I just kind of needed to grow these out uh, with a drain to waste and uh, see what I can see what I can do with these. You know, really cool though. You can see, you can tell that was a bud. Well, I guess it still is a bud. Like you can see the trichomes on it. You can see the calyxes on it. And then you see the new growth coming here. So uh, very interesting to watch. A lot of times they get this uh, like a twisted leaves when it first when they first start to re-veg and uh, they can look really messed up for a while so those are going to be really interesting to watch and to train so that brings us to today's video uh, I do want to grab this monster crop clone here this is an agent orange and I do want to clean it up and uh, once I get it up here on the table I'll be able to show you inside what I'm concerned with in there so let me set that up and uh, I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so this is what I'm a bit worried about right now is where this is a monster crop clone. You can see that this this used to be a bud in here. Uh, you can see the calyxes and you can see see a bunch of uh, growth right around that stalk there. So basically what I want to do is just clean all that out because when you have that, especially at the bottom of the plant, uh, it's a great way to trap moisture in there. And once you have moisture in there, bugs like it and mold loves it. So I'm just going to basically clean that out with some trimmers as best as I can. And maybe pull a couple of these top branches down all, as well while I'm in here. So I'll put you on the tripod and we will get at it. Okay, so we're just going to get down in here. Try not to damage anything that we we don't want to damage, but uh, so we're just going to try to just start off slow here. Just basically give it a shave. Now I don't mind I don't mind taking off I don't mind taking off something like this close to the bottom because I gotta pull them off anyway. Now I took that one off. I wasn't careful enough with that. I could have left that one on and LST'd it down. Uh, could make a good clone out of that if you want it to. I've got enough right now. So I'm not, not too concerned.
Okay, so we got most of that off. Now anything that's just kind of hanging there, that should die off anyway. So I think that's all we're going to do for now. We got most of it opened up there. And now we're going to, uh, we're just going to take these top branches here and we're going to, we're going to LST them out. Now I'm just going to use, I'm just going to use some garden staples here for now. Uh, if we want, if we want to secure them a little better later, then we definitely can do that with some uh, with some pipe cleaners or whatever you use to uh, do your LST. Okay, now we have some small ones down in here. Let's see here. We're going to kind of pull them up. There. Okay. Now you can see the uh, with the monster crops, you, you get some really weird growth. You get some like single leaves and some twisted leaves, and that's that's completely normal for a monster crop clone. Okay, so now we'll let those uh, side branches kind of come back up on their own, and at that point, these ones in here these can start to grow up and give us multiple tops here okay so we can see it here now uh, got it cleaned out fairly good now I could pick away a little bit more if I wanted to and I might when I'm in here picking around if I can get at another little piece but uh, for the most part it's pretty good now we got it uh, spread out here so that we can get a nice even canopy on this thing. Okay, so we're gonna let the, these ones here grow up a little bit and uh, grow out some nice branches and then we'll do the same thing to those as well. But uh, it'll really make a difference in the overall growth and how the plant finishes. So uh, very simple, very quick and uh, can greatly increase your yields. All right guys, so that's it for this one. Um, I have I just got some new seeds in the other day and I have some more coming in next week I have a lot coming in next week too so uh, I will be starting some different strains going that I haven't grown before and I have a couple of different ideas that uh, I'm really interested to try and I think I think you're gonna like it also anybody that's still watching I know most people don't like the outros and they turn it off right away but anybody still watching you are going to be the first ones to hear about the seed giveaway that I will be doing at around 420, April 20th, uh, for a 420 giveaway. So be sure to, uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification button. I really do appreciate it. It's free, and it really helps out my channel a lot. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you on the next one. Happy growing.